Hi everybody, so today we're going to show you a comparison of Van der Black SVs and a new material called VBX1 that some of you might have heard about and seen. So this is a bluestone 3D printed uh, polymer ceramic that's coated with a metallic car spray paint and it's from the same model as the bronze masks that people have seen earlier. Now we're going to see it transition to um, another mask that's coated with something called VBX1 that some of you might have heard about. Now this is a non nanotube super black finish that's got a total hemispherical reflectance of less than 0.3% in the visible spectrum. So you can see it rotating so you can see the, the level of absorption from all angles and the lighting which is really important to know in all these clips hasn't been changed so on the metallic parts you can see how bright it is but on the coated parts then you can see the level of absorption. Now we're transitioning to the original bronze mask that was seen at the Science Museum And now this is the same sister mask with exactly the same features that's been coated with Van der Black Esvis. And again we'll rotate this a number of times so you can see just what it's like and try to see any features. The important thing to note here that at all angles the material is not showing any reflection and that's really important for super black materials because many are only black when you see them from the front. One thing I have to say though is uh, thank you very much to all our subscribers and um, to everybody really that posts comments on some of the videos. Some of them are funny, some of them are really very clever and very interesting and some are just completely way out there. Um, the one thing they all have in common is the science team here get a lot of enjoyment from reading them so uh, please keep them coming and if you have an idea for a video or something you'd like to see we're more than happy to consider it if it's within our capability anyway again thank you very very much to all our subscribers